Huntington Beach is exhibit A in what's wrong with housing in the state of California. Those are some fighting words last year from Governor Newsom after the state filed a lawsuit against Huntington Beach. The city was refusing to comply with a state-mandated housing plan, and there's now a contentious battle underway in the state courts. This is just one of many ongoing legal battles between California and Huntington Beach. Michael Gates is the city attorney of Huntington Beach. He's here now live in studio. Good to see you. Thanks for being on for the first time. Thank you for having yeah. me. So uh, this battle is over affordable housing. The state is mandating a certain number that every different jurisdiction has to do, basically saying that we're all in this together. We've all got to bear some of this. What's your response? Why are they wrong? Well, first of all, it's not about affordable housing at all. It's about the state re tr trying to remodel or remake cities like Huntington Beach. Um, there is no empirical data to support that more high-density housing produces affordable housing. There's just no connection there whatsoever. Huntington Beach, according to the state, is forced with having to build 13,368 new units of what they call regional housing needs. And what that's going to mean for Huntington Beach is that we would have to build 41,000 new units of high-density housing in order to satisfy that quota of 13,000. The 41,000 new units is a 50% increase in the housing stock in Huntington Beach. So we're talking about a massive increase in housing, and we're fully developed, and there are negative permanent consequences to our environment. So there's a wanton disregard in Sacramento. There's a wanton disregard by Newsom for the negative impacts on the environment. The court, though, has sided with the state. Uh, so what's the next step for you all? Well, basically, the court in, in the latest ruling said that it recognized that the state's mandates exist and that the city, according to the court, is subject to those mandates. But we're not done yet. This is the first step in many steps. We're going to appeal that ruling because at the end of the day, especially as a charter city, but Huntington Beach um, really should be entitled to, according to the California Constitution, to zone for itself and to, to decide for its own housing needs for itself. So, so is, is there a middle ground? Well, we've uh, entertained uh, conversations with HCD, which is the, the state's housing department, on behalf of Newsom to see if there's something else that could be done. In other words, a number that's lower that wouldn't destroy the city's environment and our quality of life and our way of life. And the state's not interested. They, uh, just like your sound clip at the beginning at the top, indicated they want to make an example of Huntington Beach, and they're beating down on us, and we're fighting back. We're not going to take it laying down. They well, talk about you all the time. Yeah, and, and there's there's more. This is a separate issue, and this mm -hmm. has to do with voter ID. And Huntington Beach just passed, the voters just passed it for that city. The city charter now requires voter ID in municipal elections. Uh, A.G. Bonta, mm -hmm. Attorney General Rob Bonta, he took issue with this. Uh, here's what he had to say in April. They have taken an action to violate the law of the state of California in a way that's uh, intentional, uh, brazen, and uh, will now uh, be subject to the accountability and uh, the action that we're taking in court today. He's basically saying this, there's no reason for this. You're providing a solution to a problem that doesn't exist, and you say. Well, he's also saying that what we're doing is illegal, but his own legislators um, have proven that that's not true. He's saying that what the city of Huntington Beach has done violates state law on elections. Yet, Senator David Mann introduced a bill in the state legislature to make what Huntington Beach is doing illegal. So Sacramento can't even get it right. They're not even consistent with how with their position on this issue. What Huntington Beach is doing with voter ID, but also the other election in integrity measures that it's putting into place, which the voters passed in March, by the way. This went to the voters and the voters approved these measures. Um, these things are perfectly legal. They're perfectly within a charter city's ability and authority under the California Constitution to implement. And so this, again, is just a more bluster as far as Huntington Beach is concerned from Sacramento. Now it's from Bonta. We're going to take it to court and we're going to prove him wrong. Is there any example of widespread voter fraud where you would need to do this? Well, the, the question really, as far as the city council was concerned when it put the proposals on the ballot and what the voters were concerned about when they voted in March was not so much prove vo why, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, voter fraud. Um, everywhere, widespread voter fraud. It was more about, look, we've lost confidence in our elections. We have seen irregularities and anomalies with the mail-in ballots, um, where ballots are being mailed to households 
where those voters don't even exist anymore, where there's one voter in the House, but now there's six ballots that show up in the same person's name. So there's been some issues with the way the elections have occurred that have caused voters discomfort and lack of confidence. And so these measures are really meant to advance the confidence yeah. and take measures to ensure that elections have The Secretary integrity. of State says a lot of that will be figured out when they check in the scan, the barcodes, and all the rest okay. of it. But uh, moving forward, though, just uh, Governor Newsom talks about you all the time. Um, I, he's talked about Huntington Beach in many interviews with me over the years. Has he ever called you, come to Huntington Beach, requested a meeting with you uh, to actually negotiate any of these issues off camera? Yeah, no, that's a great question, um, and unfortunately the answer is no. We have extended invitations to him and Attorney General Bonta to come down to Huntington Beach. Um, there has been no interest and no desire, and I think they're more interested in making an example of Huntington Beach. What they're missing, I think, is Huntington Beach is the 24th largest city in the state of California of 482 cities. We're the fourth largest in the county of Orange. We are actually a very large city, and we're going to fight these fights, and we're going to see it all the way through to the end. So when courts start recognizing, well, what we see in Huntington Beach and start siding with Huntington Beach, you know, Newsom and Bonta, they're going to regret, I think, a lot of their statements, and a lot of their statements are going to be proven untrue. Do you have any uh, intention of running for uh, Bonta's spot, the <laughs> Attorney General? Uh, no. Um, first of all, it's, it's California, right? And so uh, the Attorney General candidates tend to be very supportive of the policy that comes out of Sacramento. Those are the su successful candidates. Um, I, I disagree with the policies coming out of Sacramento, primarily that Sacramento uh, control local governance. I believe, um, as our city council believes, that cities should be able to decide for themselves what's good for themselves, um, not on every issue, but on local control issues. And so um, that's a major disagreement and probably because of that position I wouldn't be very successful as a candidate but I do look forward to continuing these legal battles I do look forward to succeeding on behalf of Huntington Beach and I am absolutely confident that Bonta and Newsom will be corrected with uh, the court rulings in the end you are popular in the confines of Huntington Beach <laughs> the politics there um, obviously we've talked a lot with both the governor and the Attorney General over the years it's grateful to have your perspective we welcome all perspectives here thank you on so much Fox 11 thank and uh, we appreciate you coming in it's great thank you all right.